This game is beginning to make me understand why there's never enough checkout lines open at Walmart. Hello everybody, I am Mark Ivan and welcome to another Brick in the Mall. This is a early access game that came out in 2016, however it's still receiving updates, probably about one a month. With the most recent update being .20, which didn't add a whole lot except it shows that the it shows that the game's still being worked on. Now this is a business management building prison architect type game, but instead of managing a prison, you're managing a mall. So the best way to describe it is to get right in it. We're going to start with the tutorial because it helps you get set up and, well, set up with the game. Hello and welcome. You have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zones in the area, so commercial is your only option. I like the background. You have somehow inherited this massive land. That's, that's it. My uncle died. Move around with WASD. Alternatively, you can use the mouse wheel. Zoom in and out. So first, to build a building, you've got to lay down a foundation. Like that. Now you wait for the builders to build. I've turned off the builder noises because there was a bug in which if you went away while a builder was building, it would make a really high-pitched squeaking noise for like five seconds. So that was really annoying. Also, the game has no background music, which makes it really quiet. So I'm sorry if I talk too much in this video. But as you can see, there is plenty of land to work with. And we're just building this tiny structure up here. So the next thing we need are doors, a double door there, staff door there, only staff can get through staff doors, anybody can get through double doors, nobody can walk through walls. So we use those to keep people from walking there, building a staff door. Here's where you assign stuff, pretty much assigning an area of storage will make it so that people, trucks come by and they'll store stuff there while assigning something as a store will make it so that people it'll know that you need to sell stuff that you're wanting to just sell generic stuff there and in the bottom right corner it shows you all that you need in this area to be able to complete the store so we're gonna go ahead and just follow the tutorial go to oh you go to manage go to storage one uh, store one link storage storage one so now storage one is for store so the items that are stored in here will be used in here. So we need food shelves, boop, 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 boop. and then just regular shelves. And then some checkout counters. So right clicking on the shelves will allow you to choose what you can put in there. And there's plenty of stuff that you can put in. So we're going to let him finish all these shelves first. And then on these ones, you can put any of these. And then you can also research more stuff to be able to put on things. So here I'm going to put cooking ware, dishes, and I'm going to try to keep it towards kitchen stuff. Um, light bulbs and electricity? No, it feels like something like toilet paper. Or diapers. I'll do toilet paper. And then for the food, soda, bottled water, juice. We're gonna make this kind of like a gas station kind of area. Candies in the front because people buy those cookies and coffee not for a loading zone pretty much a loading zone does what it says over there it's a designated spot for the trucks to come in and All right. 
it's a designated spot for the trucks to come in and drop off stuff for the for the storage stuff. Let's hire a cashier. The, now the different stats, uh, like walking speed, the rate customer satisfaction decay while queuing, and determines the ability for them to cheer up customers at cash checkout. All right. So for a cashier, we don't need much walking speed. Will take a lot of patience though. However, she's good at cashiers. She's good at cashiering. She's really good at security though. But these people don't stay in the this for long. So we'll hire her for being a cashier. This is just our first little area, so we don't need the best of the best. You can be a store clerk because you're pretty good at it and you're fast. Hey, there we go. And now so two things that this game has added since it came out is customers will start littering, like they'll just throw trash on the ground because everybody in this game is a dick. And customers will steal stuff for the same reason. So you have to have security, which is something that we'll eventually want to start investing in. And you need trash cans so that people will stop throwing things on the ground. But you also want janitors. So maintenance center, staff, hire a janitor. Yeah, good janitor. Boom. And finally, you need people to research stuff for you, which means uh, to be able to research anything. Like this is the research tree. To be able to get any of this, you need man hours, which are given to you by office workers. So you have to hire a bunch of office workers. Build objects, staff door, and desks. Assign office. I like doing the tutorial because it just has you lay down all of these kind of things. Plus it's good at explaining the game. Manage office, hire office workers. Uh, office work, any of you guys good at it? Not really. You are. You're hired. And office worker. I think you're the best. I can't really tell if you, you guys might be the same. However, you also have lower stats, so she could be useful somewhere else. Boom. All right. I'm just gonna, you guys can read on through some of that if you wanted to. Now then, the first thing I'm gonna do is hate where they made me put that, but move on anyway. I'm gonna start expanding the road. Now, I'm gonna leave this as kind of just a little gas station thing. And what I wanna do is build like a big temporary, mind you, like everything store, where it's like Walmart or Walgreens or whatever you guys have where you live. Like a store that sells everything. Just to be able to start making some money. After that, we're going to want to start creating like an actual kind of mall thing with specialty stores like video game stores and bookstores and coffee shops, food courts and all that kind of good, all that good stuff. So let's expand the road down to about, you know what, I'm going to expand it out like that and then down to about there. And then I'm going to place a bunch of customer parking, build the road, we'll also build it out here. more road, more customer parking, and then this will be parking, this will be parking, this will be parking, this will be a road, so on and so forth. Wait a minute, then I want these to not be a road. To undo something, you right click it with the tool selected. 
So pucking, pucking, road. Hey, I was right. I have no idea why I doubted myself there. And one worker is going to take forever, one builder is, so I'm going to hire another builder. So another thing you can do is plan shifts. This shows when people work and you can adjust that so that you can have them work whenever you want. We'll take one night builder, two daytime kind of builders, and that should be good. It'll help make this go by faster anyway. Now, tomorrow is going to be the first day that our store opens up, I believe. I might have missed a day. Did I miss a day? I did not miss a day. You can tell kind of because we had we didn't make any money yesterday, which this shows you your profits. I should probably go over all this. Finances. Two day av like your average for the last two days. Yesterday and then today. Research. Demand. You need to get sales monitoring. It pretty much tells you what items people are really looking for. And then it also talks about tier 2 and tier 3 items, which are in specialty stores, which we'll get to later. And marketing, which is running ad campaigns. This game is surprisingly deep for what it is. Like, at first, you wouldn't think it, but it's not just like... It allows you to do, like, a lot, like where specialty stores are actually useful and all that. Why do I? What are you? Oh, you're a delivery person. Okay. Like, you can build a store that only sells, like, socks. And people would actually go and buy stuff from the store because it sells, like, special socks that you can't find in other stores. Kind of like how you'd go to GameStop to find a game that you wouldn't find at, like, your generic Walmart. I'm gonna keep using Walmart because that's the easiest, that's like the first store that comes to mind for me. So here we see customers checking stuff out. They get little hearts in their eyes whenever they see something they like and then they grab it. Like she has a, has a huge love for frying pans. And so she's waiting for this person to ring her up. And that person just made $28. As you can see, their parking skills leave some to be desired. And I'm going to need a lot more parking and maybe some specialty parking for my workers. Because a lot of this looks like it's workers parking there. Why are you guys working on this and not... Whatever, that's my fault. So this game also has like rush hour kind of t things as well. Where, especially after work, a lot of people come at like 4 or 5 o'clock. The stores will be packed. Around lunchtime too, places get pretty busy. So you've got to account for that on the ship planning screen where you decide who's going to be working when. It's like, well, what time's rush hour? I'm going to need a lot more people ch in the checkout counters. Like for a while there, I didn't need a lot of, I, like this person was good enough. However, it is beginning to seem like she might not be. Okay, she handled that fine. And we researched the basics of stuff, which it's good that they did that automatically because I had completely forgotten about it. The next thing we're going to want is... I'm going to just go down the list for a little bit. I'm going to go just do cold change. And cold chains will get us pretty much milk, cheese, dairy products, ice cream, I believe. Ice cream, right? No, ice cream is from frozen food supplier. Cold chain just gets us these things. Fresh meats, vegetables, all that, all that stuff that's, that'll be useful over here. Now then, they managed, they completed all of that over there, so more customer parking, some customer parking, 
another road, and then we'll do more customer parking and so on and so forth. Again, one thing that I think this game could definitely use is music because it is definitely quiet. So we will build this up and then we will get started on laying the foundation wrong button. Laying the foundation to a superstore. So I want it to be down over here. How much money do I have? 151,000. 20 by 30 seems to be good. Boom. Man, my builders are going to be busy for a while. What is this? Oh, it's just a road. So, day two. Also, something that it shows you is if you go to the store, manage the store, you will be able to see under shift planning when it was busiest. Like this shows the amount of sales that were made and this shows like how many workers you have. So right now it's saying that this one person was able to handle the rush hour, which is good. We want them to be able to handle the rush hour. And we are getting objectives, which are these things that they want you to do. Sell 10 different products, it will give us 10,000. They're just little stuff like that. Turn a daily profit of over $100. Now, not a lot of people knew we were open yesterday, so not a lot of people came. Uh, but now, there should, we should be busier today. So hopefully, this lady gets overwhelmed, because if so, that means we can hire a second cashier. And that'll just bring us in more money. Which, I say hopefully she gets overwhelmed. Hopefully she doesn't get overwhelmed because that would make her unhappy. and She'd start demanding more money or she'd quit her job due to dissatisfaction. I've worked in jobs like this before. It is not fun. But when you need work, it's what you gotta do, you know? buying their orange juice, their non. Now, the stuff that we're selling right now, like candies, and the car noises are kind of loud, candies and what are you again? Cookies, coffee, like none of this stuff really makes us a lot of money. Like up here, like cookware does, but everything else is only making us like toilet paper, 10 bucks. Candy, $14. $14? How much candy did you buy? That's $6 for like juice and stuff. More candy, it's gonna be $20 for candy. Well, alright then. But, you see, it's all like small, small priced items. You can eventually get to building stuff like, uh, selling stuff like jewelry or dresses that get you like hundreds of dollars per like item bought. And that's what you kind of, like electronics, electronics get you a lot of money as well. And that's where the whole, one, one last thing I'm going to talk about before ending this, the people have different traits, which means like this one, they have alcoholic, they cannot resist any liquor. So if you have like a liquor store right here and they're walking down like a hallway, and they're passing the liquor store, they're going to see that and they're going to want to buy something from it. Like even if that's not what they decided to come to the mall for. So they'll go and they'll buy their thing and then they'll keep on going and if they see something else that they love, they'll go and they'll buy that. So that's where you make most of your money. It's like people people who have traits like Oh, that guy's got building from it. Refuses to use self checkout. Oh, okay. People who have traits like there's people who are like camera addicts or love laptops. So they'll go buy like an electronic store and they'll go and they'll buy a laptop and that's like $300. I don't care how I still have so much money. I've been spending it like crazy. 
I guess my workers haven't built everything. So because of those traits, you can make a lot of money fairly quickly if you know what you're doing with layout and know how to feel okay scamming people out of like hundreds of dollars just because they liked seeing the way a camera looked in the store and they just had to have it, which I guess is close to real life. Anyway, this has been another brick in the mall. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope I explained it, the game okay and showed off enough of what it is. There will be more episodes on this if you guys are interested, so please check out my channel for that. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to say anything, want me to do anything different, leave a comment below, give me advice, that kind of thing. And subscribe to see more content like this. This has been another Brick in the Mall, an early access game. It's Again, it's updated about like once a month, so they're still working on it and they're still adding new stuff. Like the food court's fairly new. Anyway, thank you all very much and have a nice day.